Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to focus on rewriting logarithmic expression using properties of logarithm. Now, what are the different properties that we need to understand in order for us to rewrite logarithmic expression? Number one, we have log AB, that is log A plus log B. And then for number two, log A over B equals log A minus log B. And then number three, log A raised to N equals N log A. So these are the different properties that we need to understand in order for us to rewrite logarithmic expression. So let's have an example. So let us express each of the following as the sum and difference of logarithms. For number one, we have log xy base two. In order for us to write this logarithm, in terms of sum and difference, we're going to have log x base 2 plus log y base 2. So this will be our final answer. What about number 2? Log x plus 1 over y plus 2 to the base 3. So we're going to have log x plus 1, base 3, minus, because this is a quotient, log y plus 2 to the base 3. So this will be our final answer. What about number 3? We have log r square s raised to 5 over z raised to 5 to the base 3. So we have here log r square base 3 plus log s raised to 5 base 3 minus log z raised to 5 base 3. And then we're going to simplify this expression. So we're going to move the exponent in front to simplify our answer. So the, our final answer is 2 log r base 3 plus 5 log s base 3 minus log z or 5 log z to the base 3. So this will be our final answer. So let's have another example. A number 4 log cube root of x raised to 5 y over z raised to 4. So in order for us to express this logarithm in terms of sum and difference, we are going to change the radical sign into exponential form. So we have here log x raised to 5 y over z raised to 4 raised to 1 third. And then we are going to simplify this our answer. We're going to have 1 third times log x raised to 5 plus log y minus log z raised to 4. And then we're going to move the exponent in front of the logarithm. So we have here 1 third times 5 log x plus log y minus 4 log z. So if you want to simplify your answer, you are going to distribute one third on each term of the logarithm. So let's have 5 over 3, that is 1 times 5 is 5 over 3, log x plus 1 third times log y, that is 1 third log y minus 4 multiplied by 1, that is 4, capital denominator, 4 over 3, log z. So this will be our final answer. What about number 5? Log x square, z square root of y over cube root of z raised to 4. So let us convert this one into single 
or the sum and difference. So we're going to have here log x square y square root of y can be written as y raised to one half over z raised to cube root of z raised to four can be written as z raised to four over three. And then let us simplify our answer. We have log x square plus log y raised to one half minus z or log z rather raised to four over three. Then we are going to move the exponent in front of the logarithm. So we're going to have two log x plus one half log y minus we have four over three log z. So this will be our final answer. What about number six? Go ahead and express this logarithm in terms of sum and difference. Log x square y over z cube raised to one half. So we're going to have one half times log x square plus log y minus the denominator that is z cube minus log z cube. Then move exponent in front of the logarithm. We have here one half two log x plus log y minus three log z. And then to simplify our answer we're going to have one multiplied by two or one half times two. This are simply one. If the answer is 1, we're not going to write 1 in front of the logarithm. So we're going to have log x, and then 1 half log y, negative 3 times 1 half, that is negative 3 over 2, log z. So this will be our final answer. So let's have more example. So this time, we are going to use the different properties of logarithm to convert each of the following into single logarithm. So as you can see, the operation is addition. It gives us the idea that this would be a product. So log x minus 2 to the base 2 plus log 3x plus 1 to the base 2. So that is log x minus 2 times 3x plus 1 to the base 2. So this will be our answer. And then number 2, log 5x minus 3 base 3 plus log 6x minus 1 base 3. So number 1 and number 2 are just the same. So you we just simply have log 5x minus 3 times 6x minus 1 to the base 3. So this will be our final answer. What about number 3? Log x plus log y minus log z. So this will be a product. And since we have a minus sign, it gives us the idea that this will be on the denominator. So we have log x then plus log y, that is log xy over z. So this will be our final answer. So let's try more complex example. What about number 4? 5 log x minus 1 square or base 2 plus log x minus 3 base 2. So we're going to have log. Let's move first 5 into the exponent. x minus 1 raised to 5 base 2 plus log 
x minus 3 to the base 2. So to write our final answer, we have log x minus 1 raised to 5 times x minus 3 to the base 2. So this will be our final answer. What about number 5? 2 log x plus 3 log y minus 4 log z. So let us move 2 into the exponent 3 and 4. So we have here log x square plus log y cube minus log z raised to 4. Then, so this is a sum. Give us the idea that, that this two logarithm is a product. Log x square y cube. Then minus, that is on the denominator, z raised to 4. So this will be our final answer. What about the last number? 1 half log x minus 1 half log y plus 1 half log z. Whenever there is a positive sign in front of the logarithm, it should be on the numerator. So we have here log x raised to 1 half minus log y raised to 1 half plus log z raised to 1 half. So again, whenever there is a positive sign, should be a numerator. So we have log x raised to 1 half, z raised to 1 half over y raised to 1 half. So to simplify our answer, we have log since we have the same exponent, we're going to have x, z over y raised to 1 half. Or we can write our answer as log square root of x, z over y. So this will be our final answer.